Welcome to episode three, and we're going to continue our journey of finding out more about Cyprus from a crew perspective. What are we going to be talking about this episode? Well, one of the main things that crew tours they find important in a destination is where they can hang out, where they can have drinks, where they can have food. So this episode, we're going to discover some of the traditional food places like outside of Liverpool, and but we're also going to look at the bar streets and the restaurants and all the things that you guys have recommended and the people in the marina have recommended just to give you a good overview on what can you do in Cyprus during winter. Limassol is becoming a popular destination in Europe, resulting in a drastic change in its nightlife scene. Now, Limassol's nightlife will not disappoint party lovers. The city offers active, vibrant and lively bars, cafes, pubs and nightclubs to partygoers. Cypriots can often be seen at tavernas singing their hearts out, dancing on tables or even smashing plates on the dance floor. Locals know how to have a good time and many are very proud of their local folk music, songs and dances. Whichever you choose, a warm welcome and a memorable atmosphere will be guaranteed. When watching the locals socialising in bars and restaurants that are spread throughout the island, you are immediately struck by their carefree, happy attitude and you can't help but find yourself drawn into the warm atmosphere of the tavernas, which are filled with music, conversation and laughter. Traditional Cypriot cuisine is one of the best in the Mediterranean and there's no better place to enjoy its fresh, tempting flavours than in the tavernas of Limassol. But in keeping with the city's cosmopolitan nature, there is also a large choice of international restaurants for you to discover. Traditional local cuisine includes the acclaimed mise, which can include a mix of as many as 12 varied dishes, such as kleftiko, souffle, moussaka and cheftalia. However, you do not need to venture far to enjoy fine dining or a relaxed sundowner. So we're now in the area of uh, the old town called Staripoli, which is a square that contains lots of bars and cafes and, and lots of sort of social life and entertainment. So we like to bring the crew here when we're, when we're having a big crew night out. This is where we tend to bring them. The captain's not normally uh, too forgiving afterwards, but it's all part of the fun. So, no, fantastic area and it's, it's very lively uh, for most of the year. And from here, it's, it's a walk to any part of the old farm. It's two minutes walk back to the marina. So it's, uh, it's a great place for the crew to come and discover. Limassol Marina has its own traditional and international restaurants, cafes and bars. In Limassol, there is a wide range of bars which offer amazing views and also a variety of cocktails. Many restaurants offer chilled out music during the week and pumps up the beat on the weekend and becomes a nightclub filled with great atmosphere. Whatever you choose to go for, Cyprus has it. The huge range includes stylish cafes and bars, pubs, beach clubs, chic lounges, music bars and dance clubs. Relax, chill out or dance the night away and you're guaranteed a great night out. So when you next visit Limassol Marina, make sure to visit the local hidden gems, bars and restaurants and I promise you will not be disappointed. Well, what an amazing end to an amazing day. Just look at where we are. How's it been? Oh, it's been amazing. We started this whole journey about nightlife, restaurants and hospitality in Amoda village. We had great lunch. We went down to the restaurants in Limassol. We went to all the restaurants downtown. It's crazy. Now we are here on Columbia Beach together with a great bunch of crew, enjoying the end of a great dinner with lovely marshmallows. Did you enjoy it? I loved it. It's been a great day. Fantastic. Guys, let's get our marshmallows in there. <laughs>